Greetings Eagles. In this video, you'll learn to do research with Gale's Opposing Viewpoints and Context database. This database covers social issues and features different views on topics. To access Gale's Opposing Viewpoints, we're going to click on the Library TLCC button up top. Next, we're going to go to Articles slash Databases. In this alphabetical list of resources, you'll be scrolling down to the O's to find opposing viewpoints and context. Students log in with their passport credentials. One of the nice features about this database is that there are two different ways to search in it. You can search by topic, so if you're uncertain as to what research topic you want to go with and you want to browse, if you click Browse Issues, you're able to see a complete list of topics available in Opposing Viewpoints. You also can search for an issue by simply entering the keyword in the search bar. For this video, we'll use Green Cities as a topic. So when we click on Green Cities, the next thing we will see is a essentially an information portal. There are many different formats of information available here academic journal articles, magazine articles. Viewpoints are essays, essentially, that argue a point. Let's take a look at the academic journals. There are 156 articles in this list. Once you find one that interests you, all you have to do is click on the title. This will bring up the article, and the first thing you'll see is the abstract, which summarizes the article. It's a good idea to read over that before you devote more time to the article. Next, as you can see, the article is listed below, so there's all the content. Now, as you're working with the pose and viewpoints and you find an article that you like, you're likely going to want to cite it, so I want to bring your attention to the toolbar up top. Once you click the Cite button, you'll generate the citation in several different styles. So you can select the MLA 8th edition version if you need it, or the APA 6th edition version if you need it. And you simply click Select. And then you can copy and paste this to your Works Cited or Reference page. Be sure that if you copy and paste that you double check the citation against a style guide so that you can correct any errors that may be present. Additionally, if you click the Send To link, you're able to send the article to your Google Drive or OneDrive accounts. You can also email it as well. If you have any other question about Gail's opposing viewpoints, feel free to ask a librarian.